friends, it's time for math. Yesterday, we learned about the number 10. Who can remind me what number 10 looks like? You're right, number 10 is a 1 and a 0. When we put 1 and 0 together, we get the number 10. Now, we know number 10 is super important because when we look at a 10 frame, we know that what's special about number 10? You're right, all the spots are gonna be filled in. When all the spots are filled in, that means we have 10. So my 10 frame is all the way full and I know I have 10. Now I can be a super good mathematician and know that there's five in the first row. And I know that there's five in the second row. And that tells me five, one whole row, five, another whole row, five and five make 10. So today we're gonna to talk about numbers we can put together to make 10 because it's so very important that we can make 10 in our brains. So what we're going to do to help us with that is we're going to make a rainbow. Now, I'm not going to give you any work today that you have to do like worksheet wise because I just want you to pay really close attention on how we make our numbers to 10 rainbow. And then tomorrow we'll um, look back at it and then we'll find another way to make 10. So we're gonna go ahead and make numbers to 10 and we're gonna make it a rainbow. So we just talked about with our 10 frame, when we had one whole row and another whole row, that was five and you're right, five. So we know with our rainbow that, uh-oh, marker's not working very well. We know that five, and five make, we know that five and five make 10. Now I'm gonna show you this super cool trick. You guys ready for the super cool trick? Now I'm going to use a different color. The colors are kind of hard to see on here, so I'll try to make it as best as I can. You guys can see that okay. My markers are so thin that it's kind of hard to see. So I make my next row to my rainbow, and this number, the number that comes before five is number four. Let's move it down just a little bit so you can see it. It's number four. The number that comes after this five is number six. So now look, it's kind of like we're counting. So let's do the next rainbow. So our next rainbow is gonna be number, it's gonna be green. What number comes before four? You're right, number three. So we're going to look at number three and we're going to decide what number what can it go with to make ten. And 
to figure that out, we need to follow the green line. And I need to know what number comes after six. What number comes after six? You're right, seven. So we know that three and seven make 10. We know that four, follow the blue line, and six make 10. And we know that five and five make 10. Okay. Let's do our next one. We're going to make our next row with a rainbow. We got our next color of the rainbow and we need to know what number comes before three. What number comes before three? You're right. That's number two. Number two. And then we're going to follow number two. We're going to follow that red line all the way over here. And what number comes after seven? You're right. Number eight. So in my cool, fun rainbow, we now know that number two, follow the rainbow over to number eight. So two and eight make, you guessed it, 10. Okay, last one. Or I guess we have two more. We're going to use orange. And we're going to make it go up. Get out of here. My puppy wants to be in our video too. He loves learning about the number 10. So we're gonna make our next line of the rainbow. We're making it number color orange. Can anyone guess what number is gonna go here? Think in your head, what number comes before two? What number comes before two? Oh, you're right. It is number one. So number one is here. Over here, we need to think to ourselves, what comes after number eight? And you're right. It's number nine. So if I follow my orange little trail, I know that number one and number nine, when one and nine are put together, they make 10, you guessed it. Now we can actually add one more color to our rainbow. That color is not showing up very well, so I'm gonna use a different color. Um, let's use the color. I guess we're going to have to use that color because here we go. That's working. What number do you think comes before one? As I finish coloring the stripe, I want you to ask yourself, what number comes before one? comes before one. If you said zero, you are correct. And then we're going to follow that purple line all the way over here. And now we have, we have eight, nine, oh, 10. You're right. So when you have zero and 10 together, that makes 10. So over here, we're going to write how we made these numbers. So we're going to follow the purple line. So our first number is zero. And then we're going to follow it all the way over. And then we have number 
10. So we know that 0 and 10 make 10. Okay, so then we're going to come over here. We're going to follow the orange line. We have number, you're right, 1. And so we know that 1 and follow the orange line over. What number is that? If you said 9, you're correct. We know that 1 and 9 make 10. So now we have number 2. Oh, I told you the answer. What number is that? 2. We're going to follow that red line all the way over to the other red. And we get to number 8. You're correct. So we have 2 and 8. We know that 2 and 8 make 10. You're right. Okay, so now we're here. What number is this? 3. You're right. And we know with number 3, it's green, so we're going to follow the green line all the way over, and then we get to number 7. So we know that 3 and 7 make, you're right, 10. Now we have number four, and it's blue, so we're going to follow this blue stripe of the rainbow all the way over to number, you're right, six. So we have four and six. Four and six make ten, you're right. And then we have our last one, we have number... You're right, five. And who can guess what number five goes with? Five and you're right, five. Five and five make 10. So these are all the ways to make 10. If you have zero and 10, so if you have zero cookies and someone has 10 cookies, you put them all together, then you have 10 cookies. If you have one cookie, and I have nine cookies, we put them all together, and then we have 10 cookies. If you have two cookies and I have eight cookies, we put them all together, and then we have 10 cookies. If I have three cookies and you have seven cookies, we put them all together, and guess how many we have? You guessed it, 10. Same thing, I have four cookies and you have six cookies, we put them all together, and then we have you guessed it, 10 cookies. And then our last one, you have five and I have five. We put them together and we have 10. Good job today with math. Like I said, you don't have to do a worksheet today. Um, this lesson was kind of just your math to kind of get us introduced to making numbers to 10. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about numbers to 10 using the cubes in your math boxes. And we'll also look back here at our nifty little rainbow. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you on Thursday for math. Bye-bye.